Welcome to this video. We are going to show you how to migrate from 6.8.2 to 6.8.6. I've just gonna uh, set this online for everybody to see. The 1st of July there will be no release of the ISO. We are in fact waiting for an update to come along for VirtualBox when we uh, install any Arch, Linux, Distro, Manjaro, Antercos, anything really. The VirtualBox packages, if you update, if you update, of course, and you get these latest packages in from VirtualBox and 4.17.2 as a kernel, then we have a broken system. So we have to wait till um, VirtualBox releases their newer packages that will work with the kernel. There is a solution and it's basically, it's very simple. It's uh, uninstall the Linux kernel and install the Linux LTS kernel. That's explained already in two tutorials. One is in here and it shows you how, how to build out Linux 6.8.6. So if you want to download the ISO, well, it's not there, it's not on SourceForge, but we have the power, we give you the power to build Arco Linux yourself. So you can have the latest version of today that I'm having right now, anytime. So that's explained in this video. This video is going to be on something else and uh, Arco Linux is a rolling release. That means you only have to keep updating. You only have to keep uh, installing, uh, doing your updates. So what I'm going to fake is going to my downloads here and going to SourceForge, going to download Arco Linux. The same applies of course for Arc Linux D. And let's check where it's coming from. Germany is okay, so it's uh, not near you. Then you choose another server, lots of servers, and then uh, everything will be faster. So what I'm gonna do is download this thing. All right, so I'm gonna download uh, Arco Linux 6.8.2, gonna install it, and then we're going to update it together to 6.8.6, .6, and um, that's it basically. So we are fully following along what we've done last June. Well, last uh, month, right? Let's wait for everything to download and let's install it together. All right, my installation is, uh, my download is in. It's quite fast, SourceForge 20.91 megabytes per second, so that's good. Super service and it's free. We go to Arc Linux, yeah, good. Optical drive, optical drive to downloads. And we want to have this one, 6.8.2, and we open it. So we have a month's worth of uh, updates to do. That's normal in Arch Linux that the updates are enormous. But if you see what is changed, it's often a few megabytes. So let's install it together and let's assume that we've downloaded from SourceForge, which is also a good idea. Again, like in the previous tutorials that maybe you've seen, you will see that you'll run into problems when updating because of course the newer kernel is coming in unless we do something, unless we uh, do a fix. We get, could do and could include that into the tutorial. But anyway, first of all, we're going to need to install it. Oops. Yep. Next, next, done. It's quite technical. I actually don't know if I changed my <laughs> keyboard. It was maybe too fast. Do I have a ZT? Yeah, luckily. It's so becoming so a uh, habit to install these tests. All right, so let's pause the video. Okay, installation is finished, so we restart. Done. Maybe we could get rid of the ISO in uh, VirtualBox so we don't see this pop up, but the grub switch is this. And then we run everything. Everything will work just as long as you don't update. But of course, we do update. That's uh, the idea to be current, to be up to date. So there are two things to proceed. Since I've already shown you two ways on, uh, well, two videos and one way, how to downgrade from Linux kernel to Linux LTS. 
let's show you another solution that is actually to tell Arch do not update Linux and do not update the virtual box packages. So keep the kernel at this stage. It's 4.16.12-1. Keep this one. Don't go to the next one, which gives us problems in VirtualBox. So I'm going to include that knowledge as well here. And that's if we go to the website. So we're talking about 1st of July. We don't uh, release an ISO because it will freeze up into your system in VirtualBox. It will install just as fine as always in SSD or hard disk. It's just a VirtualBox issue, not an Arch issue. So um, how to fix if you have problems? Then you go to articlelinux.com. We have these four uh, websites to go to. And most often, if there are problems, you go to the fixes. And here is already how to fix VirtualBox freezing up the kernel. And this is all explained and here as well. And then I thought, hey, what if we tell the system never to update? So if we change the lines in pacman.conf and tell them, keep the Linux kernel, don't update that package, then do the updates. Will we still be able to work in VirtualBox? Again, this is just for VirtualBox, not SSD. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. You see where it is, the information. So I'm going to go to Tunar, file system, etc, pacman.conf, that's the one, enter. Sublime text should open, if it's not, use that one. And then we need to tell somewhere up here what not to do. So ignore package. What should we ignore? We should ignore Linux and we should ignore virtual box guest modules arch. Keep off of those. Tells Pacman or your package manager, that's what it's called Pacman. Keep off of those. Just do not update those. So that's been done, saved and all that. Then we go to control T again. And now we can maybe do it in two phases. First, check out what we can install from Arch and what we can call install from Arco Linux. So we see here Arco Linux, and this is all the four Arch guys. And here Pac-Man says, hey, there is a 4.17.2. I want to update. And no, we are ignoring it. So it will not be upgraded. Then there was this message, do you want to replace package.conf, etc. dash conf. So, yes. So this is Linux for you. 656 megabytes. Total installed 3 gigabytes. And what's the net upgrade size? 16 megabytes. That's nothing. So anyway, we go through the process and I'm gonna wait till everything is finished here. And pause. And that's done. Let's do it again. And those two guys will not be upgraded, which is a good thing for us in VirtualBox, right? Don't forget. Now, the rest of the things is AUR. So if that's why I split it in two. So this thing that came from Arco Linux and it came from Arch Linux. What I'm going to get now is all the difference from AOR, it has nothing to do with us. So it's packages that are provided by third persons, third parties, uh, that's how I call it. And they are updated as well. So we're going to build this. This In this case, it's important that all your cores of your system are being used. So basically, why not put it in here as well? So I'm aborting everything, aborted by user, exiting. Am I using all my cores? Probably not. So, first off, um, this is Arco Linux. Why I'm saying like this? Oh, there's an update of Tunar. And so it just says what you need to do. Please restart. So, yes. So this is a new version of Tunar coming in, which is great. Always good to see that people are working on your file manager that you love. And okay. I was going to say Arch Linux has something special. File system, 
ETC scale. And here it is. That's the, where it is. And some people tell me there is nothing there. Well, so let's include it again in this video. Control H is what you need to do. So that it's hidden away. Where is it again? View, show hidden files, Control H. That's the shortcut. And that's what you need to have because there were lots of uh, Arch Linux packages that came in uh, during the month of June. And you can always check out what we did in here. So what we have in here, what we installed, what you have, what you don't have. So a lot of things you don't have and other things we're still working on are for other um, desktops, etc. But you can check out here as well the history. What did we just install? There must be somewhere in here Arch Linux stuff. So that's the history of what we did. What I'm going to do is Control A and Control C. So I'm going to copy everything, select everything, Control C, and then I'm going to copy paste over everything. The other alternative is use the application Melt. If I type it correctly, oh God, Melt. So this one, compare and merge your files. You do a directory comparison and check out what's in your config, what's in the config in etc scale, and then learn that way. It's a very interesting way to learn. So I'm gonna just say, okay, copy and paste everything over, replace everything. Plank doesn't like it, that doesn't matter. Uh, if you reboot, it's back there, but we can just say control, right mouse click, quit, and then start Plank again and it'll be running again. So the Arch Linux update is done. We are now at version 6.8.6, .6, thinking about uh, version. I mean, eh? it's it's uh, what we've done in, uh, on, in June, the month of June. Um, I was thinking about this course and that's why I went into there because we've uh, changed the .bin, the contents of .bin now includes also the 000 use all course version 2 because there was a user who had six cores. I thought everything was by two and four and eight, but it seems there is also a CPU that is with six cores. So we've included that one as well. This needs to be fixed. That's uh, an issue we had in June. The new um, new fetch version, version five is now there, but let's first tell him to run all the cores. I have four cores in my virtual box, so my installations will go faster. That's the point, that's why I'm here. That my, this command here that we were trying to do, this um, PKS YUA, you remem remember that's an alias, so type in alias, add still this one here, Yahoot and install everything from AOR and no confirmation, please. That's what it does. So that's that. And then we can keep installing everything. So now he's going to use the four cores, which is going to be faster than one core. So let's put him here. He's going to generate everything. In the meantime, we can have a look around. Um, so let's first fix this thing. What's this thing? It's an ugly thing and it's NeoFetch that wants to show us a logo. So let's fix that one first, config, NeoFetch. What we need to do is delete the config file and the config backup file, Control T, and you have this one. Now this one is here because of an update of another system and everything is explained as usual. Everything is explained. Just take a, check out the fixes how to fix the NeoFetch logo after updating NeoFetch to version five. So that's what I'm doing now. But there's also how to fix the logo of NeoFetch after an LSB release. So in June we had two fixes. So we have a beautiful logo. Let's, let's call it that, it's a beautiful logo, this one. But if you say, uh, rather have the Arch Linux ISO, you need to do something. And it's all explained in these articles in here. But basically we need to edit a file etc lsb release there has been an update of an application let's do it with nano this time not spline text so you see different ways to edit elements so lsb release 
this um, application installed a new version and it noticed hey I'm on Arch so I'm gonna call it Arch. So yes it's true that Arco Linux is 90% Arch Linux, 7% AUR and 3% Arco Linux packages. So yeah it's, it's not untrue but it's actually Arco Linux we need to help him a little bit here and say that this is Arco Linux and then we save with Control X, yes, enter, and then we ask NeoFetch again. And then it knows, okay, I have to show that kind of logo, not the Arch logo, but the Arco Linux logo. And there we go. So that's that. I guess that's, uh, let's take a look. And matter of fixes, I believe that were the months of June. A fix for this, fix for that, that's already done. May 29 was this one and that's it I think if I have forgotten something well you should check out um, the forum the fixes category here but basically what we've done now control T we've not installed the LTS version we told them not to update to the 4.17.2 so we did something else. We did not downgrade from 4.17.2 to 4.16.2, but we um, never told him to update. So that's another approach. Tell him not to update. And the other one is to downgrade or tell him to install Linux LTS. It's not really a downgrade. Well, it's another option. Downgrade is the third option to downgrade these two packages. But there you go. So two ways to make sure that everything still works on VirtualBox. Again, no problems, no issues on uh, your SSD. Let's do an update again, see that everything is there. Oh yeah, good that I see it, that I did it. We can get rid of something here. Sudo pacman minus R, ZD and then gone and then we have everything up to date and everything is rolling we can um, as usual change our version so if we wanted to we could change the version I was thinking um, So when we type in the, now this, um, you see here Arch Linux rolling. Normally we have a version number 6.8.6 .6 or something like that. So if we want to have that as well, you can keep the rolling. It uh, doesn't matter really. But if you want to say, hey, this is 6.8.6, .6, I've upgraded just for use, for your sake that you know, okay, I'm up to date till then. And then there you go. Now we ask a new fetch again, and then he knows, okay, so 6.8.6 .6 is the version we're having at this point in time. Now, if you want to know what this includes, what this entails, then you go to Arch Linux Hello. You go to the website. So we are here. That's the general information, and all the way down, you'll go to the latest release of Arch Linux D. But there is no release as of yet. So 6.9 is reserved for later, but you can always, always go check out what did we do. So there is this beta menu. We have three editions, Arch Linux, Arch Linux D and Arch Linux B, build it yourself. So basically you go check out what's set here. We've improved NeoFetch version four, version five, zero, zero script has been added. Now also for six cores, haven't said anything about this virtual box, so you just go and read. I um, leave the official uh, information for later when we launch 6.9.1, but it's already here summarized. I just go over it and then you'll know what to do. The month of June has been in lights, has been a lot of work, but has been mainly been, um, how do you say that, back office work and lots of things have been made to create Arch Linux B. So we have 10 desktops now you can choose from and just install it. As a matter of fact, I am working on 
a version, not wrong, Windows of course. I am working on a Arch Linux B, Plasma. So a lot of uh, elements have been created. You can all find them in here. Arch Linux B, we have phase four and we have all these desktops for you to just download. Again, be aware that at this point in time, when you download something from SourceForge here, the ISO will work just fine as long as you don't update to this later version on VirtualBox. Let's uh, click here and click again. At this point in time, XFC is winning from Plasma, though not by much, but the two biggest are, it seems, these two, and then OpenBox and Cinema. The thing is, so let me repeat it. Installing this will be have no problems. Updating, you'll get the kernel back in, you get this package back in from VirtualBox. That will give you issues only on VirtualBox. Where's the solution? Articlinux.com. How to fix VirtualBox freezing up. If you are installing, tell them not to update. That's this one. Have you updated already? Then you uh, check out this video and it shows you how to install Linux LTS, which is another solution to work on VirtualBox. All right, enjoy your systems.